We're on the uh, race to Isla Mujeres, a 456 mile race, I think it is. We started yesterday at 1140 from St. Petersburg and we're hoping we're gonna be in tomorrow about noon. We've been making really good time and we've had good wind the whole way. We put the chute up right before dark. We uh, was blowing maybe five knots harder last night and this boat makes a lot of its own wind on a close reach like this. So it, was, it felt pretty breezy, but I don't think it was blowing more than 12 knots. Say it in minutes again. 16.707. We're looking for a current out here called the Gulf Loop Current. And it runs south at two or three knots and it gives you a big lift. And so we've been looking for that current. We found it last night and we were going nine to 12 knots. It was an amazing night with the shoot up all night. We've still got it up now. Uh, and now we're only going 8.2 knots. The wind is let down a little bit but uh, we're still making good time toward the finish line. We're trying to make the most use out of the, uh, the natural current that, uh, that occurs in the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream, which rides uh, west to east before it takes up the, uh, the east coast of Florida. But in the center of the Gulf of Mexico, you get a clockwise rotating current uh, called the loop. And what we're trying to do is take advantage of the south southwest direction of that current to uh to pick up a couple extra knots on our way to isla mujera so the uh the darker red here is the uh the stronger current and as you can see as, as it goes towards the edges uh it kind of fades off to this uh sort of a blue color that's where the current is not as strong so we're trying to find the strongest currents to take advantage of that. Uh, if we can get the winds in the right direction and play the currents right, we can add a, you know, easily a couple of knots to our, to our hull speed. This is a, an amazing boat and it is a rocket ship. And we're gonna, I think we're gonna do well. We'll see, you never know. 